have you been asked to calculate variable costs and fixed costs, but you're not quite sure how to do it? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to show you just how easy it is to calculate those in this circumstance in today's video. But first, I want to say something awesome is going to happen for you very soon, so be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. All right, in this example here, we've got a firm, and we've got a sales figure, and we get a contribution margin ratio and an operating income amount, but we don't know the variable costs, and we don't know the fixed costs. I did a prior video in which I did several firms such as this in various ways, things that were uh, missing. And if you missed that video, I'm going to link it up here. That's a good one to watch if you want an overview of these. But I'm going to now break it down to show you precisely what to do in a step-by-step -step fashion. That way there's no question that you will wind up knowing exactly how to do that in after you watch this video. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here we've got a sales figure of $323,000. That's an aggregate sales figure. In other words, that's the total sales for whatever period we're looking at. That's not per item. I did one prior to this where there was a sales price per item. But in this case, this is a sales figure that is aggregate. We also know that there's a contribution margin ratio of 32%. Let's talk about that because there's a contribution margin ratio and there's contribution margin. First of all, let's look at some formulas here. Contribution margin is sales minus variable cost. So if you take the sales figure and you subtract out the variable cost, that will give you the contribution margin. In other words, I have a sales figure here, and if I take out the amount of variable costs, and variable costs are costs that vary according to the number of sales we make. So for every unit we sell, there's a cost to that. Maybe it's the cost of that actual item. And that, after you subtract that out, that's gonna give you your contribution margin. That contribution margin will then go toward covering your fixed costs. And if there's any money left over after the fixed costs are paid, and again, fixed costs are those which do not change based upon what the sales volume is. So variable costs will vary with sales volume. Fixed costs are fixed and do not change. An example of that might be rent. So rent for the store stays the same regardless of the amount of sales. Once you subtract out the fixed costs from the contribution margin, that's going to give you your operating income. And of course, if your costs are higher than your contribution margin, you would have a loss. And the convention in accounting would be to have a negative number put in parentheses like that. So if you see a parentheses in accounting, know that that means it's a negative number, which in businesses not a good thing. That's known as not a good thing. All right, let's go over these formulas. We have contribution margin. I just described that. That's the sales. And from the sales, I subtract out the variable costs. And in this chart here, we're not looking at the variable cost per unit. We're looking at the overall variable cost that's related to these sales. So it would be the aggregate. So if it's um, $5 per item, you'd multiply that by the number of items sold to get our variable costs. So just understand that that is an aggregate amount, just like the sales is an aggregate amount. That's how we get contribution margin. Here, though, we don't have contribution margin. We have contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin ratio is found by taking your sales figure, that's that figure, subtract out the variable costs, that's the figure we're missing, and then you divide it by your sales figure again, and that's going to give you a decimal, and we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage. We'll multiply it by 100 at the end to get that percentage. But that's how we find the contribution margin ratio. So these are two 
key formulas that we're going to use here. And the only other thing we need to know would be that our contribution margin minus our fixed costs is equal to our operating income. That's the only other formula you need to know. So your contribution margin, in other words, your sales minus your variable costs gives your contribution margin. Take the contribution margin, you subtract out the fixed costs, and that's going to give you your operating income. Or if fixed costs are higher than this, it will wind up being a negative number. All right, let's dive in to this particular problem. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. It really helps grow the channel. The first thing we want to figure out is let's kind of figure out our contribution margin, our contribution margin. So in this case, we don't know what it is, but we do know the percentage. And if we look at how to figure it, we can say, if we say sales times the contribution margin ratio, that's going to get us our contribution margin. So that's actually another formula we can use here. So sales times our contribution margin ratio is equal to our contribution margin. So sales, that figure, times our contribution margin ratio will give us our contribution margin. Let's take a look at that. Here our sales are 323,000. And we're going to multiply it by our contribution margin ratio, which is 32%. I'm going to write that as a decimal. If you don't remember how to change decimals to percentages and vice versa, I've got a video linked up here that will help you with that. All right, so if I take the 323,000 in sales and I multiply it by my contribution margin ratio, that's going to give me my contribution margin. Let's see what that is. I'm going to use my handy BA2 plus calculator. I highly recommend these if you are doing accounting or finance or business. One of these is very affordable, and I've got a link down in the description, and there's also one on the screen if you want to get one for yourself. Let's type in the amount of sales, 323,000, and multiply it by 0.32. Hit the equal sign, and that gives us 103,000. $360. $103,360. That is our contribution margin. So our contribution margin we know is 103,360 because we just found that. We know that sales are 323,000. And if we subtract from that our variable cost, that gives us a contribution margin. So we can just rearrange these by saying, I'm going to add the variable cost to each side. This goes away. So I'm left with 103,360 plus variable cost is equal to 323,000. I want to get the variable cost by itself, so I subtract the 103, 360 from both sides using algebra. And that winds up being a variable cost of, and I've got it already in the calculator here, the 103, 360. So all I need to do is hit this button here, which makes it a negative, changes the sign to a negative, and I can add the sales volume of 323,000. And that gives us a variable cost of 219,640. Sorry about the light, $640. So I can write that in here as our variable cost, 219,640. So we're almost done. We got the first part there. The next thing we need to find is our fixed costs. And as I mentioned, our contribution margin minus the fixed costs is equal to our operating income. We know our contribution margin because we found that to be 
103, 360. So before I fill it in, let's let's solve for fixed costs. And the way I can do that is I can algebraically add fixed costs to both sides. So I've got contribution margin, these cancel out, equals operating income plus fixed costs. That's one way of finding contribution margin, by the way. In this case, though, we want to get fixed costs by itself, so I'm going to subtract out the operating income from both sides. So I wind up with a formula that says contribution margin minus the operating income is equal to our fixed costs. Let's go ahead and fill in the information. We know that our contribution margin is 103, 360. And I'm going to subtract from that our operating income. Let's look at what that is. We're told that's 36,208. That's going to equal our fixed costs. Let's go ahead and pull out the calculator again. I'm going to clear the prior entries and put in 103,360 and subtract from that the operating income, 36,208. And that gives us a fixed cost of 67,152. So I'm going to write that in, 67,152. That is how you find the variable cost and the fixed costs when you're just given the sales, the contribution margin ratio, and the operating income. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you can, the best thing you can do is, is share this video with someone else that you think might benefit from it. Also, you can become a member if you hit the join button. There are several benefits to the members, such as early access to videos, special members only videos, and there's also a priority. I'll answer questions for members with priority. So very much for a very small amount of money, less than a cup of coffee at a Starbucks, you can become a member of this channel. So consider that. If nothing else, some of the best benefits happen when you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. Now go out and make an awesome day. Thank you.